Welcome back to Mr. M. For this video, we're going to be looking at how I made an acrylic basket for an 8 inch subwoofer. It is basically a pretty generic take on the 6 spoke, except made out of acrylic. Let's get right to it. So the very first step in making the basket is going to be to make a basket negative as I'm calling it. It is a, uh, the, I mean this is the traditional way to make a basket, this is the way I'm going to be making a basket. Uh, normally baskets would be cast, uh, I think alum cast aluminum, but I am making this one in a different way. So I will be making a negative, which will be essentially a frame upon which to place all of the basket parts while I weld them together. Uh, so it holds them all the correct spacing apart and aligns everything that needs to be aligned and et cetera, et cetera. So this tool here, the desktop CNC, I think it's a 3040, 3018 upgraded to a 3040. Uh, I've got the spoil board on here because I'm cutting right through the pieces that I'm working on. And we're going to cut some pieces and then stack them together to make a speaker basket negative. So this one didn't go super duper well. The reason I have the three holes here, here, and here is that's how we're going to line up the stack so that all the pieces are aligned properly. Um, so when we attach them together, it's super simple. I'll use the same pattern on all of the pieces. This is the very uh, bottom piece. It has the motor flange around here. This is the opening in the motor flange where the voice coil will go through. And then this is for each of the uh, 12 spokes at this location. So this particular one went a lot better than the last one. Unfortunately, I didn't go all the way through so um i had to cut it after to get why is that not focusing um and so there's some chipped bits it's not going to affect the alignment of the speaker parts but or the basket parts but it doesn't look very nice uh, but otherwise this one went much better than the previous one um as i was saying but never showed you the these didn't get the slots for the the spokes didn't go very well on this particular one you can see that one's particularly bad so then we have this one this is the last of the spoke uh templates it obviously did very well compared to the other two even it also has two ridges here to align the spider flange discs there's going to be two discs laminated together uh, and then the once those are in place, we'll put the spokes in and then put the motor flange onto the bottom of that. So as you can see, this is sort of how it's starting to take shape. There's the three bottom pieces uh, from the motor flange up to the spider flange. Then if you go, I drop those ones. So you're gonna have the um, basket main spokes going all the way up, oh, 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 right onto the ground. And then the last one will be this guy here. Um, and that has your um, mounting flange as well as your uh, ridge that will go around the outside. Woo, now I've got to stick that together and cut the acrylic.
is the 8 inch basket negative. Makes a little bit more sense once it's all together. So what we're doing here is cutting out the parts to make the basket. Um, once that basket is completed, like I've got some of them already on here. These are pieces that need to be laminated. These are pieces that need to be laminated here as well. And then I'm gonna have to do these. There's the spider seats that'll go here. Um, once I cut them all out, then I will have a basket that I can glue together or the parts for a basket that I can glue together. And So this is just a test fit um, for this, the different spokes. There's actually another uh, spider landing, uh, or actually the spider seat that will be laminated to this ring here. You can see that it's that right there is actually where the spider sits. So this circle here is the outside diameter of the spider, or a little bit bigger than the outside diameter of the spider. Then you have the spokes going up to the motor flange here so these will actually be a little bit too tall these guys because they sit just under this mounting surface but they're going to actually be three millimeters higher so once i glue these spokes onto the bottom of the spider flange i'm going to have to sand them down a bit Now that we have all the pieces cut and the basket negative ready to go, everything fitting on it properly, the next step is going to be to start assembling the basket and gluing all the structural pieces together. Sweet.
Possibly missed a bunch of the gluing um, and assembly footage from the spokes up to the spider ring uh, because my camera ran out of battery uh, or memory or something to that effect. Anyway, one of the things we need to make note of is there's two holes on each side for terminals. They need to line up with the lower spokes because if you have one landing right where there's a spoke, obviously you cannot put your um, terminal in there. Um, but so we we just popped this thing off the negative just to, I probably could have lined it up when I was building it but because I didn't we could turn it I have now lined it up but I just want to pop it off anyway just and we can just turn it and rotate it to where it needs to be but that is the upper spoke portion. That needs to be lined like that. So that the spokes, so you can see that, are in between. That's not quite center. So you just rotate it to where it needs to be. Then we can glue all the spokes to the bottom of the spider landing. Take a look at the spider landing, how that turned out. Let's just do a test fit with the spider too, but... There it is.
that I finished gluing all of the lower, 12 lower uh, spokes into place, I'm going to slide the basket off of the negative just to see how they turned out. They still have to be filed down a bit to get them to the right height for these uh, motor flange, but we're just gonna slide them off to test it out. Yeah. Yes, Violet, if you put your hand in front of it, it will see you. But the, the lens is over here, you know, where my hand is over here. Oh, and you walked it. Hi, that's Violet. <laughs> Oh my goodness, lots of camera bumping. Bleh, my fingers are so long. <laughs> they are huge. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? The bow. <laughs> A bow. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> bow, bow. Um, so I'm currently just gluing parts together. One of the things I had to do is shorten all of these uh, these 12 lower spokes. I just filled all in between these two spider ring layers. Like there's a this one and this second one. You can sort of see the line up there. I laminated those together. You can also see that's how I made the notch for that spoke. It's cut into the top one and not the bottom one. Anyway, I flooded in between those. I, I had originally just kind of tacked them with the that's weird with the um uh glue but now that's fun i didn't go all the way through and on um now it's completely glued these are all glued in place and have been shortened uh now what i did was i put a milling bit on my drill press and just cut them all so they're the same length from the basket now uh, David Armfish or whatever his name is, will tell you I'm not a machinist and you shouldn't buy anything from me because I'm from Canada, which kind of seems racist to me, but whatever, that's neither here nor there. The next thing I'm going to do or have been doing is laminating these two, um, the motor flange together. So now that I've got all the pieces here, I got the, uh, motor flange laminated. The glue did not leave a very pretty... Um, layer in the middle. It's kind of wonky donkey. You can see all sorts of weird Ripples and dots and I don't know what happened. There. That's okay. I don't think it's gonna really matter for what we're doing here um, It's not the prettiest lamination, but um, It'll work so we're gonna put this on so that it is Each spoke Is or each, sorry, each mounting hole is between, uh, there's every second, every second spoke because there's 12, six holes, 12 spokes. Then we're going to, we're going to tack it at each corner with the glue and then pull it apart and re-glue it. Once it's had an opportunity to 80% cure, which is about three minutes, we are going to pull it off the negative and glue it from the top. Um, it should hold pretty solid just with the 80%. But here we go. So we waited our three minutes. That should be theoretically long enough for this to be held to 80%. Uh, we're gonna pop this thing off and hopefully the uh, motor flange doesn't break free. Well, so far so good. Now I'm just gonna reinforce some of the glue uh, locations just to make sure that we've got 
uh, super duper um, good bonds everywhere. Uh, mostly around the six spokes and the 12 spokes uh, at any contact points. Then we've got to do the uh, ridge uh, mounting flange um, trim piece. It's about a half an inch tall. I think it's exactly, you can see it lying across there. I've only got one of those. I know it looks like there's two, but one of them's cut so bad it's got notches on it that I need to get that on without screwing it up. Uh, and that's going to, of course, involve heating it to wrap it around while gluing it to, to the edge here. So the next thing we're going to attempt to do is bend this around the uh, outside of the basket flange, like on here, and see if we can't put a ridge around the top of the basket. Sweet! Interesting. See if that joint cracks when I open this. some of the ugliest looking shit I've ever seen but hey it's there so we'll call it a win even if it's a ugly win as always thank you for checking out this video and uh, sharing the experience of making a eight inch basket out of acrylic for a subwoofer. This is the Crystal Bubba. The next video will focus on, or the next video in this particular series, will look at um, actually building the sub itself. And then part three, or possibly included in part two, will be um, some functional testing and uh, performance testing uh, and demos, etc. Uh, I'm going to be doing another video, not part of the series, on um, the box I'm building. It'll include some stack fab and uh, stuff like that just to uh, make it a little bit more interesting than a uh, basic box build. I'm going to employ some techniques that I haven't really used or at least haven't used specifically for box building in the past so uh check that out check out the other videos we'll see you on the next one